Anyway, here I am. I am on Rumble now. I'm sure you've all heard. I am a free speech martyr. I am a free speech martyr. I am a YouTube refugee who is now on Rumble, right? Here on Rumble, guess what I can do? I can say tranny. I can say retarded. I can tell call people cunts. I can tell people to go fuck themselves. I mean, I was doing that on YouTube too. But over here, nobody can report me. <laughs> on Thursday, I am going to be recording an interview with Fred Sargent. For those of you who don't know who Fred Sargent is, Fred Sargent is a gay rights icon. He was present at the Stonewall riots. Um, guess what I can do? I can say tranny, a bunch of assholes and cat ladies and psychos and stalkers uh, have been raising some questions about whether or not it would be appropriate to sabotage my guest segments. And hater tater, you can be as clever as you like and you can say, oh, I was just asking a question. I wonder if these guests know whose show they're appearing on and what kind of people they are. You can use your little mom voice, but I know exactly what you were doing. You think you're the first bitch who's tried to stick, you know, stick a knife in my back? No, I know exactly what you were saying, and I know exactly what you were doing, and I will be goddamned if you're going to do that on my Rumble channel. You, madam, can go get fucked. I am a known quantity, okay? They know who I am, or they know me by reputation, or they know somebody who knows me. Um, but I didn't want to run the risk of having these bitches start trying to make trouble for me in my guest segments. And just so that you know, the Ginger Lynn interview that is on Rumble is fully monetized. With the sexual content. Wait a minute! They were told it was sexual content and they flagged based on the recommendations of content creators that they listened to. But the content was not sexual. It wasn't. With the sexual content, with the Rob Zombie movie, it is fully monetized. I knew that as soon as I started talking about the transgender issue, that there was a very, very strong likelihood that my channel was going to be gone. Everybody can forget about Ginger Lynn and Rob Zombie and all that bullshit, all right? <coughs> 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 I know that it's that people like to laugh about my GERD, but one of the uh, one of the side effects of having really hardcore acidity is that you cough when the acidity goes all the way up to here. It it gives you a very bad cough. And no, I will not stop vaping. So don't ask. Something snapped today. Something happened to me. This individual who continues to insist that he is not a doxer, that he doesn't go IRL, last night was in a stream, and a troll was in the stream, posing as my ex-husband. Videl verified that this was the real guy, that this was the real deal. This troll was saying all kinds of things, like, um, you know, that it's his house, and that I won't answer his text messages, and that I am basically squatting in the house, and then he talked about the dogs and all this. Okay. And Hussey, who does not dox, who does not go IRL, and doesn't hate anybody, was absolutely intent on trying to invite this person on their channel. Let me tell you something, okay? You are a fucking retarded cunt. That's what I think of you. You were the one who gave the stamp of approval and said, this is the real guy because I saw it on Kiwi Farms. I would never in a million years, I would never think to post any information about relatives of yours anywhere. I would never think to run around trying to find out more about you. I loathe you and I think that you are dangerous and I think that you are a psychopath. Madam, you are a sicko. Dude, I honestly hate sickos. You are crazy. You're out of your fucking mind. I'm done with you. I now feel that I am not safe. I feel that my life is threatened. I feel like I'm in danger. And I feel that you are threatening me. And you are putting me in danger. And like I said, I'm going to do something about it. And I'm going to make it stop one way or the other. So buckle up, bitch.
because I'm done with your shit. I've had you all brigade me. I have had you all, um, you know, check me out up and down. And I'm not flattered by it, by the way. We have gotten to a point now where it's enough. It's fucking enough. I have seen enough threats, enough death threats. I have seen enough people co-signing some of the most grotesque, evil shit imaginable. And I'll be goddamned if I'm going to spend the rest of my life looking over my shoulder. And if Negs is going to do that, and if our family is going to do that. And you guys put us there because you didn't like things that we said on the internet. I don't like getting phone calls at two o'clock in the morning. And tomorrow it's on. I think that it's time for some people to be made examples of so that you know that I'm not fucking playing. I'm done. And there needs to be some kind of a reckoning and people are going to need to take accountability. Vehicles defaced, uh, police coming to the door, um, all of that stuff. Um, I am not going to take this line down anymore. I'm sick of you. Pain in my ass burgers! I'm sick of it!